Hi, I'm the Smoking Elk, and this is my jambalaya. One of my all-time favorite dishes, I absolutely love Cajun Creole food. This dish originates from Louisiana. It's a rice-based dish. It's an absolute corker. It's nice and easy to make, so we're gonna crack on and show you how we set up the Kamado and get cooking. So we've got our charcoal in the firebox. We haven't filled it. Um, it's about half full, maybe a third. Um, and we're just gonna pop a fire lighter in there and get that going. And then once you've got yourself a little fire going, we're just gonna pop the accessory rack in the middle position. And then we're gonna pop the wok on there, lid down, and we're gonna let that heat up, ready to start cooking. Top vent, we're just gonna open. And the bottom vent, we've got open. So it's been about 10 minutes, um, we're coming up the temperature nicely. We're at about 240 Fahrenheit, 110, 115 Celsius. The wok is nice and hot, so we're gonna stick in about a tablespoon of oil. And the first thing we wanna do is fry the chicken. And we're also gonna add the chorizo in there as well. And we're just waiting for the chorizo to release some of those oils and render down and the chicken to brown. So that's just gonna take about five minutes. And then we're just gonna remove this with a slotted spoon. And next in goes the Holy Trinity, um, which is one finely diced onion. We've got three finely diced celery sticks and a large green pepper finely diced. Now, we don't want to fry these, we want to let them gently sweat down. So we're just going to pop the accessory rack into the high position. So we've got these further away from the heat and we're going to pop the lid down and just let those sweat down and soften for about eight to 10 minutes. The rest of this cook, we're just going to close the vent almost all the way and the bottom vent we're going to leave just a smidge open because we don't need it too hot for the rest of the cook now. We're up to the temperature, we're sweating down the veggies, happy days. Once you're happy that your veggies are nice and soft, we're just going to pop that back down again onto the middle position just to increase the heat. And now we go in with three cloves of garlic. We've got about a tablespoon of paprika, a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of oregano, about half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a couple of bay leaves. And we're just gonna stir that and cook that down for about 30 seconds or so. And the smells coming off of this, as soon as you add the herbs and the spices, it's just incredible. Next in, We've got some diced tomatoes. Uh, you can use tin tomatoes. Uh, these are just some fresh tomatoes that we've skinned and diced. No need to de-seed them. So we're just gonna stick those in, about 400 grams. So we've got a high heat now. We wanna cook those tomatoes down until they start to break down. So probably about five minutes over the higher heat. Next, we're gonna add the chorizo and the chicken back in with all those lovely chorizo juices. And again, just give that a good stir. We've got about 200 grams of long grain rice. Give it a quick stir and then we're going to pour in about 450 ml of chicken stock. I like to put hot stock in there rather than going cold and um, slowing down the cooking process. If you put, make, get your stock warm or hot, you can pour it in and it's not going to slow down the cooking process too much. So this is going to come up to the boil quite quickly. Season plenty of salt and a good teaspoon of black pepper. So we're just going to pop the lid down on this, let that simmer away for about 10 minutes. So it's been just over 10 minutes. I'm gonna pop the lid up and show you how we're getting on. We're gonna go in about 150 grams of cooked prawns. 
You can use raw, uh, if you use raw, put them in a few minutes earlier. And we got some spring onions, probably about four spring onions that we thinly sliced, white and green bits. So we're just gonna stir that in. But that is looking good. I'm gonna pop the lid back down, let that carry on cooking for another couple of minutes until them prawns are heated throughout, and then we are good to go. So we are done. Just gonna remove from the Kamado and go and serve this up. So there we go, there's my jambalaya cooked on the Kamado Joe Classic 3 using the Kamado Joe Wok. Lovely Louisiana Creole flavours running through this. Got chorizo, chicken, prawns. We're gonna go ahead, scoop a bit of everything onto a fork and see exactly how we've done. Oh. Honestly, if you've never tried jambalaya or you wanna give it another go, Give this recipe a try. It's an absolute winner. Thanks for watching. I've been a smoking elk and I'll see you again soon. Happy days.